So which is better, potassium iodate or potassium iodide for protection from radioactive iodine? I recently watched a video by Viking Preparedness and Pastor Joe was showing a video on how to, well, how he made a kit for his vehicles for protection from radiation. And I was surprised, instead of potassium iodide pills, he had potassium iodate pills. And when I had done the research for a video I posted a little while ago, there'll be a link here or here, however it goes, um, to potassium iodide, the how, when, and why, when I had done my research, it seemed like everybody just used potassium iodide. So I decided to do a little research and find out a little bit more about potassium iodate. So let's see a little bit about what's the difference between potassium iodide and potassium iodate. And do they both work the same? Is one a better value than the other? Let me show you what I found out. Now, I want to mention, I am not a pharmacist, nor am I a medical expert. So as always, always do your own research. Just don't believe a YouTube expert, okay? But this is what I found out and I wanted to share it with you. Here in the US, the military and the companies that own uh, nuclear reactors all stock up on potassium iodide pills. And potassium iodide is FDA approved. Potassium iodate is not FDA approved for this use. It is approved for using uh, in bread as a, uh, I guess a kind of preservative or something, I'm not quite sure, but it is not approved for this use. However, I found out that some European countries such as United Kingdom and the Netherlands, they exclusively use potassium iodate. So are they the same? Are they the same value? So if you look at just pure cost, potassium iodate is definitely the winner. You can buy 60, 170 milligram tablets at Camping Survival for only $14.95. That would give four persons a two week supply. So it's a great value for a family. Now on the other hand, the same company handles Iostat, which is potassium iodide tablets. And these tablets are $11.95 for 14. So they will only cover dosage for one person for two weeks. So when you look at that, definitely the potassium iodate pills are the better value. Oh, an added plus is that the potassium iodide pills are also available in 85 milligrams. And that's half the other dosage of the 170 milligrams. And this makes it easier to use if you have a family with children because an adult would take now two of these tablets. Uh, a child from the ages of three to 12 would take one and children one month to three years old would take a half a pill and those under a month newborn would take a quarter. So easier dividing this tablet than if you can imagine the 170 milligram because for a newborn you would be down to one eighth of a pill. Is potassium iodide better than potassium iodide? I mean, which is more effective? You know, that was a lot harder to find in my research. I'd like to read you an excerpt from this. This quote is from the World Health Organization and the International Atomic Energy Agency. And it was a working document entitled Guidelines for Stable Iodide Prophylaxis Following Nuclear Accidents, and it was dated 10, 1998. And this is what it concluded. Quote, stable iodine can be used as either potassium iodide or potassium iodate. Potassium iodide is the preferred alternative since potassium iodate has the disadvantage of being a stronger intestinal irritant. Okay, so that's a little bit of a negative, and it could be because you're actually taking a little bit more of a dosage per day for the potassium iodate as compared to the potassium iodide. But there's another thing to look into uh, when comparing both, and that is your storage conditions. I'm gonna read you another excerpt. And this is 
published in Health Phys, 1993, and it is potassium iodate and its comparison to potassium iodide as a blocker of thir no, 131 uptake by the thyroid in rats, okay? Potassium iodide is the preferred thyroid blocker for personnel handling radioiodine and is recommended as a prophylaxis for the population in the near field of a nuclear reactor, which would be likely to be exposed to radioiodine in an accidental breach of, or of containment. However, in hot and humid climates, this hygroscopic chemical has a poor shelf life due to hydraulic, hydraulic loss of iodine vapors. On the other hand, another iodine-rich salt, potassium iodate, is quite stable and has a much longer shelf life. So, explained a little bit about the study and they were trying to compare to see if they were both equally effective. It concluded, results suggest that potassium iodide is a as effective a thyroid blocking agent as potassium iodide. Okay, so both of them are effective and one of them may cause a little intestinal irritant and that was based on really one study as far as I can see so I really don't even know how true that is. So which one should you consider storing in your preps? Potassium iodide or potassium iodate? I think that really boils down to three things. One being, are you comfortable to storing and using something that is not FDA approved? If you are not, definitely go with the potassium iodide. Two, what are your storage requirements? You know, if you're in a hot, humid area, um, or want to keep this in the trunk of your car and during the hot summer months, then potassium iodate might be a better pick. And three, do you already suffer from some intestinal complaints? If so, potassium iodide would probably be better for you than potassium iodate. Now, again, as I stated before, it is very, very unlikely that you or anyone in your family will ever have to take these pills. And please remember, to be truly effective, you need to have advance warning to take them. In fact, some people say it's for potassium iodide, it's better to take six hours beforehand. Well, I don't know if you'll have that much warning if something happens. So, very low likelihood you'll ever use them. And then if you do need them, Maybe you won't be able to take them in time. So this isn't a prep that you definitely, definitely need to have. If you are concerned about living near a nuclear reactor or what might happen falling from the skies, then this is a prep you want to consider. So love to know, do you store potassium iodide or potassium iodate? This is Prepper Potpourri saying, please subscribe share the knowledge, and as always, thank you so, so much for your support.